Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just so giddy. This book is gonna be so good. I can already tell, but. Welcome to my channel, I'm Jaleesa. If you're new here, welcome. If you're not new, welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to be going over all of the books that I am anticipating to come out in 2021. Most of these books are books that I have been anticipating for months now because they're part of a series that I've already read or just recently finished. So before I get into this video, if you are not already subscribed to my channel and you want to, don't forget to do so. And if you don't follow me on Twitter or Instagram, I will have the link below in the description box. But let's get into this list of books because, oh my gosh, I'm so excited. 2021 is gonna be a great, book here at least for me the first book is the third book in a series okay i'm sorry i'm just so giddy this book is gonna be so good i can already tell but it is the third book in the blood and ash series by jennifer l armentrout which is the crown of gilded bones let's talk about it so this book follows poppy and castile of course they are finally together and they are about to embark on a journey to go rescue their brothers however because poppy is a true queen of atlantia which means that she's blessed with the blood of the king of god she has to decide if she's going to wear the crown and become the queen of the kingdom of flesh and fire however a threat the kingdom appears secrets unfold and those who reside in the kingdom of flesh and fire will do whatever it takes to make sure poppy will never wear this crown not only is she having to fight for her birthright but the queen of blood and ash has her own plans for poppy and the kingdom of atlantia and their only hope to possibly even overcoming all of this and overcoming the plans that the queen of blood and ash has for them they might have to awaken the king of flesh and fire and i don't know who the king of flesh and fire even is i have no idea who he is but I'm sure he's all powerful and I can't wait for this book. I'm so excited. Like if you can't tell, I'm so excited. Um, each book gets better. So I just know that this book will be so beautiful. The next book is Covet by Tracy Wolf. Many of you might be thinking, Julie, so why are you gonna read this book when you hated the second book? This is true, I did. I love the first book, I hated Crush and Covet, I'm, I'm hoping it will make up for what I didn't like in Crush. So with Grace being a gargoyle, she has the right to sit on the circle. And the circle is supposed to have one person to represent each supernatural creature in the area. And so being that Grace is the only gargoyle in the world, well, in their world, she is the only person who can sit on the circle. However, nobody wants Grace's coordination to happen. And not only that, but Grace and Hudson, for whatever reason, have a warrant out for their arrest. And if they are found guilty, their sentence is a life sentence with a very deadly and unbreakable curse. So I think that Covet may have have more potential than crushed it i do think the synopsis is a little more interesting than the second book was i have high hopes i'm reading this book because number one i really did fall in love with crave the first book and i want this book to be good so this next book is a middle grade it'll be my first middle grade book that i've ever actually read and i can't wait the next book is amari and the night brothers and this book is first of all beautiful this cover is just oh so pristine so pretty so amari's brother quentin has gone missing and she's the only one left who believes that he's still alive so amari discovers a briefcase that has paperwork in it that is a tryout session for the bureau of supernatural affairs and she goes to this place to try out for the bureau she finds that she's competing against a bunch of kids who've already known about magic their entire life well amari comes into her own powers however she's told that her powers are illegal which to me means that they're probably pretty freaking powerful and so there's an evil magician that is threatening not only the supernatural world but also can be threatening Amari's brother. And so pretty much Amari has the power to probably overcome this evil magician as well as save her brother. And this book I'm excited for because for one it's middle grade, it's giving me very men in black, but also like by kids vibe. So the next book is Wings of Ebony by JL. This book follows Rue, who's a teenager who just suffered a great loss when her mother was murdered in front of her front door. And her father comes to her neighborhood and takes her away, making her leave her sister in her hometown behind. He takes her to an island called Gizon or Gizon. At this place, you have a bunch of basically descendants from gods and Rue finds out she's half human and half god. However, the people who live on this island take pleasure in human suffering and of course that's gonna bother Rue because she's half human. There's a law on the island that's called the do not leave law and basically they cannot leave the island to go anywhere, especially back to the mortal world. Rue does not follow that rule and she leaves and goes home to visit her sister in Houston but she finds that all the black kids in the area are being used for crime and for violence and she's finding out very quickly that, that there's an evil that's plaguing her neighborhood. However, that same evil plaguing her neighborhood is also plaguing the island and it's up to Rue 
to take on her ancestors' powers and really overcome and fight against evil, and it just sounds so good. The next book on my list is also a YA fantasy. It is The Daughter of Sparta by Claire Andrews. This book follows Daphne, who is a 17-year-old who's been training to become a warrior basically her entire life. But then Daphne is faced with a challenge by the goddess Artemis to find these nine mysterious items that have been stolen from the Mount Olympus. If Daphne fails to find these nine items, not only will the gods lose their power, but her brother, who's been taken by Artemis, will suffer, and the mortal world will come into chaos. Daphne will not be doing this quest all by herself. She will be joined by the god Apollo, who is this handsome young god, and you know, I'm already sensing here there will be some kind of romance in this book, and that's exciting because, I mean, <laughs> thank you. Yes, please, feed me that. So my next book is actually the third book in the Greenbone Saga, which is Jade Legacy by Fonda Lee. So this book, once again, it just follows the Call family and their clan. They have suffered so much loss, so much devastation after the war, and they have to pretty much band together to figure out who their enemies are, who they should work with during this time. While Jade is still being coveted on this island, people still want their hands on it. But unfortunately, there's a threat to them and the Call family and to the clans, and there's a threat to Green Bones altogether. And so they have to work together to figure that out. But the premise of the book, the magic in that book is so unique. And so this series, if you have not read it yet, I think you definitely should. Jade City is a great, great book. I give the book five stars. Jade War was also really great, but I know Jade Legacy is gonna just pack a punch that I'm so not ready for. The next book and the last book on my list is the middle grade time traveling book and that is called The Retake by Jen Colanita. So Zoe and her best friend have long since drifted apart. They are in middle school and so when you're in middle school, you know, you and your best friend don't talk anymore. It's like really devastating. Like, it's the end of the world. And so Zoe actually ends up getting a magical app on her cell phone that allows her to time travel to all these different moments in her life that are on her phone in her pictures. And so basically Zoe's trying to go back in time to all the fights her and her best friend had to try to fix their friendship but what Zoe realizes is that going back in time and changing things doesn't make the future better and that sometimes there's beauty in new beginnings. I'm ready for it. It seems really cute. So those are all the books that I'm anticipating for 2021. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video and if you have a book that you're waiting for next year is coming out, drop it below in the comments. I would love to know what you're waiting to read next year and I will see you all in my next video.